wrecked, destroyed, demolished. As Fnatic Pike Anglers, we all have baits in our collection that are so beaten up, they went through so many things, you could write a book about it. In this series of short videos, we pay tribute to the stars of our tackle boxes. Enjoy! So guys, let me tell you something about what I think is the best swim bait out there on the market. And that's kind of weird for me to say because it is also the smallest swim bait that I actually use. It is the 25 centimeter roach. And you can see this is all a bit of a mess. This is the most versatile swim bait out there. It's made out of rubber, so it's not super durable, I have to admit. Even though I caught like 50 fish on this one and I had to repair it multiple times, and I need to repair it again, as you can see. You can cast these and you can troll these. You can do basically anything with these. I even know a guy in the Netherlands that dead baits with these. I kid you not. He puts them underneath a float and he catches fish on these. These baits have been out for three or four years, I guess. I do remember like it was yesterday that I got a box of these just before the season opened in all the colors that were at the time available, which was this gold red one, which called a rod. Uh, the green fire tiger one over here and um, well this is the updated version now this is a roach color which at the time was just gray silvery with a dark back these were demolished at the first weekend we had days where we caught 50 fish a day during the opening weekender <laughs> yeah right and we used the moderate sink and we used the shallow runner this is the moderate sink and the reason why I'm holding the moderate sink is that I think this is the best version of the 25 centimeter roach out there. Because it's so versatile, you can fish these shallow and you can fish these deep. Especially when you troll with paravans, it's so easy to fish these shallow. Just decrease the amount of line out and you have a shallow runner as well. But also, you can run these deep. If you put enough line out, these can easily reach two and a half meters. So they are much more versatile than the shallow runner that we have, or the shallow version that is out there. Um, I've caught several big fish in Sweden, but also in the Netherlands, on the 25 centimeter moderate sink. You would think in Sweden that you would need natural colors on super clear waters. Think again, uh, one of the heaviest fish I caught during one of the trolling trips that we did over here was on this baby. And this is by far not a natural color at all. Um, there is a downside to these, and I can show you guys, and that is a you know, thing that happens with all these rubber swing baits is that they tend to tear in the middle, like in the joints. Because the rubber and the mesh is quite thin, which is needed to create that S-curve swimming motion. But if a big pike sinks its teeth in it, then it will eventually just cut the rubber. There's a couple of solutions to it, which we'll dive into in another video. Um, you can use some chemicals, you can use a soldering tool. Um, but like I said, we will dive in that later because you can prolong the lifespan of these roaches. The fins get torn off sometimes, it doesn't matter, the pike still take it. Especially these get ripped off easily. Um, and they completely inhale it as well. But sometimes they are a bit picky and then I would highly advise to put an extra treble underneath it. I always do it and if the pike are like super aggressive and inhale it, you could also take the extra treble off. But I would like to have, especially in the Netherlands, a treble on the back of these. Because in the Netherlands they are really picky, they try to nibble the back. Uh, I had one of my 25 centimeter roaches, the rear section completely bitten off. And that indicates that they are a bit more careful in the Netherlands. If we use the water wolf cameras in Sweden, you see instant hits, you see no hesitation, no doubt. They come up and they inhale it. In the Netherlands, they come up, they inspect it, they look from the side, another time from the side, and then if you change the speed or something, then it hit. eventually it hits it. But in Sweden, they inhale it, so you could opt for a uh, removing of the back travel. In the Netherlands, I would always keep it on. Uh, casting, this one works really well as well. You can fish it over the weeds with your tip up high, but you could also fish it on the deeper drop-offs just by pausing it, and then it creates it as curve and then it slowly sinks down. And especially that hang time is just killing, absolutely killing. 25 centimeter roach, one of the best baits out there. Arguably the best swim bait out there. The 25 centimeter roach can be used effectively year round. While it excels during spring and early autumn, the fish are usually shallow, between two and five meters during this time of year. And the roach, with a running depth towards two and a half meters, fits perfectly into that zone. 
During summer or winter, I would pick something that runs a bit deeper or has a bigger profile to lure fish towards the surface, like the big brother of the roach, the 32cm version. As for trolling, I recommend a speed between 3 and 4.5 kilometers, as this is where the roach really shines. You could go a bit slower, but not too much as it stops working around 2.5-2.6 kilometers. As of colors, I would just pick whatever you're comfortable with. It has to stick out and it depends on the water type you're fishing. As for species, it's a pike fishing lure, obviously, but with no doubt at all, it would attract large bass and musky as well. Myself, I cannot wait to throw some of these at some giant Travelli one day. Yes, it will be a one-way trip, but God, that will be fun. As with the previous episode, we are giving away a brand new 25cm roach in a newly released perch color. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, and fingers crossed guys. Currently, we are wrapping up our new videos, including the second edition of the Dalston Canal Expedition. Stay tuned for that, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next episode.